problem with the suspension being enacted. Let's have a look at this. So when you start the car, after a few seconds, you get inactive suspension. There she is, air suspension inactive. So I was told if you turn the steering wheel all the way to the right and left, normally that clears it, but I've tried it and it doesn't work. So let's get the iCar soft out. Let's see what we can see. Maybe I can clear it that way. So let's go straight into the diagnostics. I'm not going to do um, a smart scan. I'm just going to go straight into manual scan because I know the area that I'm looking for being the suspension. So let's choose the car. We have got a Range Rover. It's a Range Rover, that one there. It's an L322. So it's 2000 and two to 2005 L322, select that. And we're gonna go manual this time because I wanna go straight to the suspension. Let's see what we can see. Air suspension, there she is, hit that. Connecting, module information, refault code. Let's see what she says. Here we go, status, none. Compressor temperature rises when compressor inactive. Okay, so I've got one of two. Press the next one. Uh, front left height sensor activity invalid. Okay, so let's go back. Let's try and clear the fault memory. Press F2. <coughs> Array's done. Press F1. And let's try and read the fault codes. No fault codes found. On the dash, we don't have any issues with the air suspension. So how about that? That took me less than a minute. Less than a minute. That's how good these things are. I'm gonna start the car. We're just gonna make sure that that fault is away. There, all done. No issues with the suspension, all cleared. I love examples like this. I didn't script anything. This was a genuine issue that I had on my wife's Range Rover. Um, people talking about the battery's low, turn the steering all the way to the right, all the way to the left, that often clears it. On this occasion, it didn't. So I had to use the iCar soft to go into it. And they looked like there were two historic faults there. So my name's Groove on, I do all sorts of videos like this. And I generally specialize in diagnostics for mainly Mercedes, Volkswagen, and Range Rover. So have a little look at some other videos I've done. You're a genius, by the way, if you subscribe. Thanks so much. I'm only a small YouTuber, but I love to help and try and give as much free advice as I can. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just test to make sure that the suspension is working. So let's try the height. It's gonna go turn the suspension down. Yep, she's going down. And then she's down in the lower position. Likewise, let's go up. Feel the car rising. And we're back up to where you are. I'll put a little link where you can get this. This is a multi-car version. It does uh, Range Rover, Mercedes, Volkswagen, Ford, Audi, uh, Fiat, does all sorts. Um, you don't just have to buy this for a Range Rover. You can get it where it does multi-cars. If you have a little look at my description, I'll show you exactly where to get it on Amazon. So look, thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. See you on the next one.